Hi, my name is Sharon Nelson, HR manager responsible for talent acquisition for the City of Columbia. Talent in the City is our effort to highlight and showcase the departments with the City of Columbia, the department's impact players, as well as the talent who make the city run every single day. These impact players and departments oftentimes don't get the spotlight that they deserve, but without them, the city of Columbia would not run as a beautifully oiled machine that it is. Well, we're continuing to cover the city of Columbia's talent in the city, talking about the various opportunities for you, potentially, talking with public work, uh, with the street division, I'm here with one of the crew leaders, Fred. We're so glad to have you joining us. Well, thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Such a pleasure. Well, they're under some construction right now. We're here. And tell us a little bit about what you all are working on today. Well, today um, we're repairing the driveway, which you see over here. We had water division come to help us out, but we had a very broken water line up underneath the driveway. We caused it to cave in. So now we're in the process of putting it back together. Um, I just had one of my guys roll it with the plate tap that we have to tap it to make sure it's solid enough to pour concrete. And how many jobs like this do you, would you say you do a day? Uh, per day, it depends on the size as well. But majority of the day's time, if it's in the same area, we should have to get to three to four that day. Awesome. Now, for those that are not familiar with public work and with the street division, what type of work other than this, do you do? Well, we do various things. We do um, driveways, as well as you see here. We do asphalt work. We do storm drain work. Um, we into building parking lots for certain parks. Um, we do ditches and creeks as well. That's just in street division by itself that I can think of. But we also have the water department that do the water break lines and the sewer department that do the sewer break lines and on and on and on. There's different levels of departments within the city. Beautiful. And you know, it's so interesting because as we are doing these segments, we learn just how all of these departments work together yes, to get jobs like this done. I mean, you have a pretty extensive crew here today. Yes, ma'am. But what yes, I want um, us to share with our viewers, how long have you been a part of this department? Uh, as of now, I've been with the department about six and a half years. Six years. How yes, did you get? How did you become a part of this division? Well, I used to work for the state for DOT, and it got kind of bored. I wanted something different. So when I decided to come to the uh, city of Columbia, I found more interesting things, more interesting people, and good people to work with. So Beautiful. it made me very comfortable. What do you love the most about what it is you do? Believe it or not, what I love the most about it is coming in and seeing my foreman's face. You know, the way that they just say thank you for a job well done, or just thank you, period, in general. Doing the job, eh, kind of come learning from each other, I yeah. think, that way. But just to see them satisfied that the job been completed, then I'm good for the rest of the day. I love that. I want to also talk a little bit more about the training aspect. I know you're a crew lead now, but yes, talk about what training was like for you. Hmm. If you could think that far. <laughs> I, <laughs> well, training, it, um, I'm sort of a fast learner, but I still have people like Victor. I have people like Guy Payne. You know, different guys, if I didn't call their names, please forgive me. Different guys that I was willing to learn something from, and I just took that into what I already know, and it became pretty simple. But training is pretty, pretty simple, you and know, for the ones who want to learn. Will you say some of the skills that you had previously with DLT kind of helped you with the job you do, or was a lot of the work kind of on the job training for you? Well, basically both, because with DOT, it helped me to fill in a little faster than what the city do, because everything works different. So what I didn't know, I wasn't too big or too high to go to one of them and say, is this right or just wrong? Instead of saying, well, I got it, then I have to turn around and repeat myself. Well, let's also talk about this position that you're in. How long have you been a crew lead? Uh, well, that's another thing, too, because they got senior lead and crew leader. Okay. So all in all, I've probably been in this position right about three, four years. Oh, awesome. So um, I'm glad you answered that way because it kind of makes me think, you know,
know, can you get hired as a lead or is this something you you work to achieve? Well, I, I believe, well, first of all, they give the guys who are already employed the opportunity to become to a certain position where they work at. If none of them want to step up to it, then if you're, um, how can I put this? If you qualify, then you can be hired as a lead. That's great to know. So there's opportunities for growth in this field. Yes, ma'am. Um, what, uh, what are the work hours like? What is the work load like and what is the work hours like? The work load is not as bad to me because I'm kind of used to working, but the work hours since COVID hit, we changed. Um, the concrete and asphalt crew come in at 8 to uh, 4.30. Uh, the ditching crew and the storm drain crew come in from 7 to 3.30. But the work load, once it, once it come from upper manage to you, then they really don't give you a time limit to get this done, but they expect you to get it done in the proper amount of time. Beautiful, beautiful. If someone was interested in becoming a part of the street division, what advice would you have for them? If they're looking for great benefits, uh, a good place to retire, um, and want to learn something that is different from what they're doing now, then I would recommend come to the city and be a city employer. And let's make the whole state just as beautiful as it is. All right, so I am here with one of the assistant supervisors for the street division. If this is Victor, he's going to explain a little bit more about what's happening here behind us. So, Victor, thank you so much for joining us. And tell us what's happening here. Well, how do we get here? <laughs> when we get here, the majority of our workload is from water, water division to wastewater division, whether there's a water leak or a water break. They have to come in and they'll make the repairs. So they'll do all the concrete removal to get to the broken line. And once they repair that line, they'll send us the work order and then we'll come out and we'll do the concrete work. So this is where our work begins. We'll come out and we'll prepare this area for concrete. We'll form it with the boards like you see on the side of the, uh, the driveway there. And we'll actually come back and place the concrete. So this is the majority of our workload, which is generated through the wastewater and the water division. Now, there is other work that we do around the city. We do do some large projects. Like recently, we've done the, uh, a uh, fire and range for the fire department. We created a parking lot on Candy Lane. You know, so there are the large projects that oh, we awesome. actually do do. So you're not just repairing all the time. Sometimes no. you're creating Sometimes and building. We're creating. That's right. I love That's that. Right. And so as I'm listening to you, I'm thinking about the group effort it takes to kind of get jobs like this done. So you, 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 you tear it up. They fix it, and you lay everything back down, and then you move on to whatever else you have, you have in the city. We're looking for personnel. We're looking for skilled workers, you know, equipment operators, CDL, CDL people that have CDLs. Uh, if you're looking for, for a job, the city of Columbia is a great place, and we have positions open. If they don't have the skills and we're willing to work with people, we, we hire people all the time that don't have the skills, and we train them into the position and we can actually help them train up. We can help them get a CDL. As I was saying earlier, we have a great CDL program. We'll help them get a CDL so they can move to that next level within the city and move up the system and become people like Fred, like crew leaders. Awesome, well thank you so much for letting us come out here and interrupt work for a little bit. That's interrupt the workflow right. just a tad bit, but listen, we've been here uh, a couple minutes and already this work looks like it's already halfway done. So you're gonna be working with a, a skilled group of, of co-workers um, and there's also a lot of great training that's available. And we're gonna continue to let you know about the talent that we have right here in the city on our next episode, stick with us. For more information about this position and its department, please visit www.columbiasc.gov.